Defense News in a Nutshell, your fortnightly guide to all that's happening in MINDEF and the SEF in under 5 minutes. Here's what happened from the 14th of March to the 3rd of April. Last year, Singapore mourned the passing of founding Prime Minister Lee Kuan Yew. The army fired off a 21-gun salute in his honor as his cortege passed City Hall. Two of the artillery shell casings fired during the state funeral procession were presented to the SAF and the army at a ceremony held at Safti Military Institute. In his opening address, Minister for Defense Dr. Ng Ying Hen noted that Mr. Lee was firmly committed to building a strong defense for Singapore. I hope that when our men and women see the shell casings, they will also remember Mr. Lee's vision of building a strong and capable SAF to defend our way of life and will commit themselves to achieving that vision. That will be our most fitting way to remember Mr. Lee. At the Remembrance and Reflection session held the next day, former President S.R. Nathan and the first Chief of Defence Force, Lieutenant General Retired Winston Chu, spoke about how Mr. Lee's vision remains relevant today. In his life, and which has been also the spirit of the SAF, the two things that are very important for us, that is one, survival, and two, success. This survival instinct is what primarily motivating us, the SAF, to continue with what we achieve. As we remember him and his team's contribution, we cannot take what we have for granted and let our guard down. Instead, we must continue to strive like our pioneer generation leaders did to ensure Singapore's success and survival for generations to come. Dr. Rung met Australian Minister for Defence Maurice Payne during the 9th Singapore-Australia Joint Ministerial Committee meeting. Both ministers explored initiatives to enhance defence cooperation between the two countries and reaffirmed the significance of the five power defence arrangements to the regional security architecture. I think we're looking at deepening and broadening that already excellent relationship, whether it's uh, sharing of personnel, more military-to-military -military ties, uh, science and technology components, as well as uh, what we have requested for, because Singapore is a very small place, more training opportunities in Australia. Airmen and women from Singapore, Thailand and the United States participated in the 22nd exercise Cope Tiger conducted in Thailand. 87 aircraft, 48 ground-based air defense systems, and some 2,000 personnel were involved in the exercise, including the Republic of Singapore Air Forces, or RSAF's Heron 1 unmanned aerial vehicle and a multi-mission radar that participated for the very first time. The large-scale trilateral exercise aims to enhance interoperability among the three air forces and strengthen the close defense relations between the participating nations. The RSCF welcomed its new Chief of Air Force at a change of command parade held at Tanga Air Base. Brigadier General Mervin Tan Wei Ming received the Air Force Command symbol from outgoing Chief Major General Hu Cher Mo. It is always our people and their attitude of being resilient and adaptable that allows us to constantly innovate, chart our own path, and turn our constraints into our strengths. As we look to the future, it is this Air Force culture and character that will enable us to forge ahead with confidence. The change of command is part of the continuing process of leadership renewal in the SEF. For more details on these stories, visit mindef.gov.sg. Now let's check out what's buzzing on our social media channels. Deterrence and Diplomacy, the crew of RSS Vigor execute a successful missile live firing test while the midshipmen of RSS Endurance make a port call at the newly opened Kham Ranh International Port in Vietnam. Log on to Dr. Ng Ying Hen's Facebook page to find out more. Singapore took over command of Combined Task Force 151, a multinational counter-piracy task force deployed in the Gulf of Aden. Visit Cyber Pioneer's Facebook page for more information. Students show their innovation and creativity in defense science and technology. Check out Cyber Pioneer's Facebook page to learn more about the Singapore Amazing Flying Machine Competition and the Young Defense Scientists Program Science and Technology Camp. Well, that's our defense news in a nutshell. Get to know us more through one of our social media channels. This is Mike from Power 98 signing off.
Thank <laughs> you.